Hey guys, Joey here of Yugatech and night or low light photography has now become a staple in the smartphone landscape as cameras and software have gotten a lot better at producing clear photos despite the lack of light. Sensors have gotten better, lens apertures wider, and post-processing is getting a lot better at cleaning things up. And for the most part, the results we get on a typical phone nowadays aren't considered great but they're a far cry from what you would have been able to get just a few years ago. And then we have phones with a dedicated night mode. Right now, a lot of smartphone companies are implementing their own version for me. But the thing is, they all essentially do the same thing. When you hit that shutter button, the phone takes a series of photos, combines them together, and uses software to reduce noise and sharpens things up, so that in the end, you get a somewhat usable shot. And all of this usually happens in just about 6 seconds or so. And we have everyone from Huawei, to Apple, to Xiaomi, to Oppo, but of course, the one that's stealing the spotlight since launch is of course Google, with the night sight mode on the Pixel. But since we don't officially have Pixel phones in the Philippines, aside from Huawei and maybe Xiaomi, the Oppo R17 Pro has been making waves also with its stellar night mode. So now, my question is, is the R17 Pro's night camera mode legit? And how does it compare to something like Google Pixel Night Sight? Okay, so let me clear up something real quick. We don't actually have a Pixel 3 here in the studio to test with, but luckily, my daily driver for the last year or so has been the Pixel 2. And as we know, Google's camera updates are rolled out to all Pixel phones, so yes, while we don't have the latest Pixel, we still get access to Night Sight. And on the Pixel 2, it's still pretty darn good. So I went ahead and got both my Pixel 2 and the Oppo R17 Pro, took them with me on a night run to test out both of their night modes, and here's what we got. Now Pixel phones as well as iPhones sort of have this tendency to have the photos be a little bit more flat and suitable for editing later on, but as we see here with the R17 Pro's shot, it looks like it's sharper, colors are more vibrant, but we do lose some details in the buildings at the back. Now looking at this same set of shots but with the night modes turned on, well, I do love my Pixel but damn, I think the R17 Pro's shot looks a lot better. It's sharper right out of the camera, it was able to expose more of the buildings, and the whole shot just looks really balanced. Now taking a look at this portrait here without night mode, hands down the Pixel wins. It's just a better phone for taking shots of people in my opinion. It's dynamic, really sharp, I mean just look at the hair and look at the eyes, there's detail. But the R17 Pro shot still isn't bad. It's not as sharp, but it's still clean. With night mode though, the tables seem to have turned. It seems like sometimes with the Pixel, you should only be using night sight when it's really dark because here in this shot, the phone wasn't able to focus well and were a little bit overexposed. For the R17 Pro, not much has changed but we do get an overall brighter photo and better skin tones. With these shots though without night mode, I think the R17 Pro's shot is a lot better. It's not as detailed as the Pixel 2 but it accomplishes the goal a lot better. This is a shot of a person after all and it's able to capture skin tones way more accurately which is obviously the goal. When we move to night mode though, there isn't much of a difference on the side of the R17 Pro but damn! The Pixel shot has improved vastly and I'm not just saying that because my girlfriend is the most beautiful woman in the world. The shot is a lot more dynamic than the non-night sight one and it's very sharp, colors and skin tones are spot on, and it just shows that night sight could improve certain shots even if the scene isn't super dark. With these shots of this building, there isn't much to go by. Both shots have similar exposure and noise levels, although the R17 Pro is able to show the clouds and the dark blue in the sky a little bit more. With night mode on, wow, I think the R17 Pro nails this one a lot better. There's more detail in the clouds, less noise overall, and the color is more spot on. Now for these shots, without night mode, there's not much of a difference. Maybe the R17 Pro captures a little bit more color and is a little bit brighter, but essentially, these two are the same shot. And for this particular camera test, I wanted to show how the phones perform when you introduce extra camera shake when you take photos with night mode. And here we see one of the flaws of the R17 Pro. Yes, while the Pixel wasn't able to do much to this shot, at least it's clear. It seems that the R17 Pro doesn't really do a good job of combining and lining up different images during post-processing. 
so you really need to keep a generally steady hand. In this one though, it's not so bad. These are taken with night mode in a moving car, and it seems that the R17 Pro can handle movement in the Z axis, but not so much with vertical and lateral shake. It also has a nicer shot, I think. So, so far, the R17 Pro's night mode is pretty legit, but we have one final test for it to survive. Can it see in the dark? This scene, to the human eye, is literally pitch black. I'm not kidding. And as we can see in the photos, the R17 Pro fails to even lock focus with anything while the Pixel was able to. And with night mode, yeah. This is precisely why Google's night sight tech has taken the world by storm. By no means is this shot usable, but look at that! It can literally see in the dark. Again, to the human eye, this is pitch black. And the R17 Pro really tried to do the same thing, but it's not even close. It's still a very dark shot. So having seen all of that, how is Oppo doing in its first foray into hardcore night photography? Well, not too shabby. It's not as revolutionary as Night Sight like the folks over at The Verge like to say, but I imagine that it's only going to get better. While I think Google will still be at the forefront of smartphone camera software for the foreseeable future, I don't not see a future where Oppo can reasonably catch up. The R17 Pro sure ain't no pixel, but sure. If we're gonna go by its marketing material, it can pretty much seize the night. So that's all for this video, guys. What do you think about the Oppo R17 Pro's night mode? Would this be your low-light smartphone camera of choice? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel for more content, ring the bell icon to get notified every time we upload a new video, and be sure to visit yougatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Joey, and I'll see you guys in the next one.